Okay, dear prospective students from all over the world. My name is uh, Edmund Bedusek. I'm the international coordinator of the International Physiotherapy Program of the Hans University in Groningen in the Netherlands. And I want to inform you a little bit more about the international physiotherapy program that we offer. You have probably interest in physiotherapy. That's a good choice because it's an interesting profession. You also have probably the choice to go to the Netherlands, which is also a good choice for several reasons. But when it comes to physiotherapy, the fact is that the quality of physiotherapy in the Netherlands is really very high. It's an excellent program. And Dutch PTs are wanted all over the world. You see them in many countries. So if you take your education in the Netherlands, it's a good guarantee of finding a job wherever you like. And maybe the third choice is to go to Groningen, which is a very nice and lively student city. The program uh, already exists for 60 years, so we have quite some experience in how to educate students in physiotherapy. The program is also recognized by the Dutch government. And although some countries uh, ask additional tests. If you want to find a job elsewhere, most countries within Europe, it's never a problem. But some countries like the US, Australia, may ask for some additional tests, and if you really study for that, it's not a problem to pass. What about your future? Physiotherapists are working in different professions, on different jobs, I should say, on different settings. Uh, you find uh, PTs working in private practices, you find them in hospitals, rehabilitation centers, um, nursing homes. And these days, nursing homes, you have more and more because we have a lot of elderly people. The population gets older, so there's also a more a demand for PTs working with elderly people. You can work in sports facilities, clubs, centers. And if you like it, you can also become a teacher like myself. Something about our program, it's a four-year bachelor program. That means you have to gain 240 credits at the end of the program. I give you a little, some little information about the way we have organized our program. As I said, four years. The first two years, in the first two years we mainly teach all the theoretical and practical things you need as a PT. That means you get medical information, you get, of course, a lot of physiotherapy information, you get psychological information, because you work with people, not with machines, that means only the biomechanical background is not enough to understand the patient's problem, but you also need to understand the patient as a whole, uh, as a person, so it is complex, but it also makes it more fascinating. The way we offer you the information is, is mainly uh, by using case studies. That makes it a little bit more uh, lively, more uh, as, a way as it is in real practice. And we, we have case studies that deal with orthopedic problems, joints, muscles, etc. We have case studies that deal with neurological problems, stroke, herniated discs, etc. And we have case studies that deal with cardiopulmonary problems, so your heart and lungs. That's, let's say, the main topics that PTs, physiotherapists, use in their labor profession. As an example, I give you an example about an orthopedic problem. Pain in your shoulder. A patient comes to see you with pain in the shoulder. As a PT, you have to see what can you do about the problem. What we teach you in our program is how to assess, how to examine this problem. So you do a patient history, you do a lot of testing, you do a lot of palpation, and at the end you hopefully have a conclusion what this problem is. The next step is you set up a treatment plan. And all we do, all we teach you is as much as possible evidence-based. So we, that means you have to have a good idea about what is the evidence, the science, between my acting as a physiotherapist? And then finally, of course, you have to do the treatment with the patient. Most of the treatment is 
these days what we call exercise therapy. That means it is an active therapy. In the past, PT was also a lot of passive therapies like massage. And of course, we'll teach you massage because it's still part of the profession. But it's more and more active therapy these days. So the patient is also responsible himself and has to do a lot of activities to get better and get rid of his problems. So in a way, you're also coaching the patient. That's the basic stuff in year one and two. In year three and four, we go a little more deeper. And the things we do in year three and four is first you start with what we call a specialization. A specialization is one semester, and that's 20 weeks, of dealing, of deepening one topic. You can choose. That means you have a choice as a student what you would like. In the specialization, you can choose between sports, working with children, working with adults, or working with elderly. It's up to you what you think fits best for you. What would you like to do maybe later as a PT? Besides the specialization, we have the internships. That means with all the knowledge and skills you have gained so far, you have to practice it in a real situation. Internships are three different internships, and every internship is every internship is ten weeks. It can be in different settings. Like I said before, you can go to a hospital, a private practice, or an, or a nursing home. Where can you take your internships? Well, all over the world, wherever you would like to go. Of course, we help you with that. We need to approve it. But if you say, I would like to do one of my internships in New Zealand and we have a place there where, where you could go, then it is an option. So that means you can also choose from different facilities and you can choose from different countries. Another thing you'll have to do in year three and four, that's let's say more to the end, is what you call a thesis. It's a kind of scientific project. It can be studying a certain topic and, and writing about it but you can also participate in real uh, projects with real research with patients in the hospital. The last thing you could do in, the, in year three and four is doing a study program abroad. You could call it a minor, so it, can, it has to do with physiotherapy, but it can have some other aspects as well. We have several partner universities within Europe, some outside Europe, and you could choose from one of these partner universities and see if they have an interesting program for you and you can take that also for one full semester. If you've done all these things together, you passed it, then you have 240 credits and that means you can graduate from the program. Uh, what else can we offer you? If you would be interested, we can offer you a Dutch course. A Dutch course on a level on a high level, on such a high level that you're even capable of taking maybe classes in Dutch, if you would like that. We have also <coughs> uh, evidence-based practice, as I said, so that means we, we teach you about uh, science, what is it, how should I read it, how should I understand it. Uh, what we expect from you is, of course, a high motivation, an active attitude. We offer you about 15, 16 classes a week. And especially students from abroad sometimes are used to maybe 20, 30 hours of classes a week. Well, in our program, it is a lot of independent learning. And we have teachers who help you with that. You, have, you even have what we call a student career counselor, a kind of personal guide that helps you to a complete education. But it is especially you who should be motivated enough to start this profession, to start this education. I mean. uh, what we can offer is a good program and it's a good preparation to you as a PT for the future. There are a couple of bets you should realize that you need to get a certain amount of credits in the first year. If you are if you're not able of getting 40 credits or more in the first year, there's a rule called a kind of binding study advice that means you have to stop the program. So it's up to you to go for that and get at least 40 credits. 
after two years you must have at least 60 credits. If you have not, if you're not able to gain 60 credits after two years, that also means you have to stop the program. So that's something you should realize. Something about the admission requirements. The, the, the basis is you need an upper secondary education in the country uh, with a diploma. If it's from a country we don't know so much about a diploma, it will be checked here. Uh, so we can see if that is a diploma is sufficient or not. You also need a good level of English because it's a four-year taught, a four-year program taught in English. EU students who have done uh, English in their uh, final exams, we can see that on the on the list they sent, and if it's sufficient, then you will be accepted. Non-EU students from a not speaking, non-speaking English country they have to do an IELTS or a TOEFL test. Totally, every year we have 285 students in our program, so it's a big school, especially compared to most of the foreign programs. 24 of the 285 students are what we call the international students. So they are a separate group of students from different countries from all over the world, and they are together in one class. If you want to apply to this program, you have to do that before May 15, 2012, when is the deadline. And the application goes not directly to the school, but you find on a website, you find a link, and that is www.studiolink.nl, and there you find more information. So it's a special way of applying to this program. You cannot directly do that to the school, you have to do that through study link. I think this is already a lot of information, more details like how, how expensive will it be, well these prices you can find it on the website, I think that's, that's the best way to refer to the website. For books you probably need about, for the total study, 1200 euros altogether. Uh, and I think that's about, it. it's the main information I want to share with you in this way. If you need more information you find it on a website from the Hunter University. We have phone numbers you can find over there. You can always make phone calls or send emails if you would like more information. And you're even uh, invited to come over to the school if you say, I'd like to have an idea. How is the school? What's the atmosphere? You're always welcome to come and maybe spend one day in the school and join the classes of other students. So when it comes to me, I say I'm looking forward to meet you in Groningen. Thank you.